This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Are you a designer or architect and want to incorporate these panels into your next project? Western States Metal Roofing has made it easy. Simply download our free 3D Smart Textures to create photorealistic images in your 3D design software now. So today I'm here with Rochelle Lynn from Rochelle Lynn Designs. Rochelle, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your company? Oh, wow. Uh, that's a big opener. I am actually a, a designer that was self-taught, but I, I began in the creative world probably from the day I was born. I was born into a family that um, my mom was an artist, my dad was a forester, and I grew up on the West Coast and lived uh amongst the trees, the ocean, the lakes, the rivers, and the wildlife. And so creativity embedded in nature was always a part of my, my soul. I married into a construction family and by twist and fate and things just falling in place, I ended up designing and creating our own homes. Next thing you know, I'm designing and creating uh, homes for friends, family members, friends of friends, contractors. In 1998, so 25 years ago this month, I started our design firm and creating now the types of projects that we really, really, really are in love with and drawn to. So that's specializing in homes that are rural, ranch, mountain inspired, uh, alpine, and really lots of log and timber, lots of natural materials, lots of earthy hand hand done stuff and then mixing it with like funky cool modern twists how does metal fit in with that does metal mm -hmm. work in some instances lots of instances what what do you what's your thoughts on that uh juxtaposition is the best way to honor any material and any item and juxtaposition of natural materials and man-made materials is this beautiful synergy of uh, vibrancy to both. So yes, we love, love throwing metal in with uh, natural materials and metal that is uh, more contemporary looking or more uh, historic feeling. So for example, we've got, you know, say a metal panel, a nice wide plant metal panel with uh, a tight, tight reveal on it, giving a really smooth, clean look next to some reclaimed uh, barnwood siding, you're gonna have those two sort of pushing each other forward and giving each other a whole lot of drama and excitement and interest. Rather than trying to fight each other, they actually, um, I would say, give each other a little bit of a standing ovation. All right, so we've, we've talked about the fact that sometimes you do put metal on your buildings. What do you like about metal? I mean, why do you do that so often? I love working with metal. I love working with wood. I love working with leather and stone. Uh, so many natural materials. And really metal is a, a reformed version of a natural material. What I really like about it is that it's the one item that has probably the most control. And when you have control, you have the ability to push boundaries a whole lot more than you would normally. So. Being able to take things and put things together that you wouldn't normally expect or anticipate, metal gives you that freedom to do that. It's also got a whole lot of value when it comes to stewardship. And we often talk about stewardship in terms of being kind to our environment and you know reflective and supportive of our region and the land and being uh, born into the forestry industry. You know, I was always a part of the world of loving trees, uh, embracing trees, nurturing trees, cutting them down and turning them into something that will give them a whole nother life that supports our lifestyle as well as our lifespan. And then hopefully that item becomes again, something else again, when it's repurposed, reclaimed and turned into something new 
maybe 100, 200, 300 years down the road. And when you take metal and throw it into that mix, the one difference it has is its lifespan is massively larger than say wood, but it's also got more manipulation capabilities than say stone. So it gives you a whole lot of ability to say, create something that looks like wood, but lasts the lifespan of stone might be if you chose a metal finish that has a wood texture, wood grain, a wood print on it, you're going to get more life out of it. So that to me is like stewardship as well as aesthetic manipulation and, and play. Um, when it comes to roofing, my gosh, it's my favorite. It's the quickest install there is for roofing. It's durable. Our, our climate here, we're dealing with mountains and, and rural properties. You need something that can hold up to snow. You need something that's going to have a whole lot of extra waterproofing uh, suitability. And you want something that you don't have to replace in 10 years. So, you know, really, there's so much value in the fact that it may not be an authentic material and be wood itself, but have a wood look and be a siding that will give you a lifespan that will be years, decades longer than the wood siding. And it also saves us maintenance, which is a huge uh, kindness to our land and to our earth to not be putting products that change and impact the conditions of our soils and our waters. It also um, just saves us time and labor, which is valuable these days, really valuable. Right. Now, let me ask you this. You know, we, we, we most, a lot of, most of what we sell is for roofs, but we sell quite a bit of siding, um, especially residentially. We've noticed that we're really seeing siding on residential places a lot more than in the past. What's your take on that? It's amazing for rural properties. Uh, like I said, maintenance is a huge concern for rural properties because there's so much that you have to be on top of when you have a big chunk of land, when you're, say, you know, out of town, out of the city, you're further from your amenities, you have uh, more weather conditions impacting your, your structures and your buildings. You also just have wear and tear. It's a little bit different when you're out in the country. So metal as a siding material, it's got so many values just in the, the construction side of it. Quick install, speedy process to put together. You don't have to do finishing after you've installed it. You also don't have to do maintenance down the road. You don't have a five or a 10 year restain necessitation. You don't have a five or 10 year or even two year repaint in a humid climate or with a, a, a colder climate as well. So it's super valuable in terms of speed and efficiency on the construction site. Here in uh, Alberta, we have, I don't know, like a, I would say a, a six month comfortable construction window. The rest of the time it's winter and it's cold and it's inconvenient in so many ways. So we go hard in the warmer months. We still build through the cooler season but we really go hard in the warmer months so if we can speed up that process that's awesome what about the aesthetics you know i mean people are kind of used to the you know typical stucco aesthetic or or whatever that aesthetic might be that is not metal i mean is it hard to overcome that what's what's what what do you what feedback do you generally get when you bring it up stucco will always have its home and its purpose and its place it's got an aesthetic to it it also has a price point as well as a um, an installation um, pros and cons. Because we work primarily on rural properties, a lot of properties that are um, ranches, uh, working farms, also just, you know, let's call it hobby, hobby farms as well, where you have more predominance to aim for lower maintenance and longer lifespan. Stucco doesn't have the low maintenance and long lifespan in the same way as say a metal siding would have. Uh, in the mountains, you've got things like weather and snow and moisture and freeze thaw that can sometimes over time maybe have more of an impact on a stucco surface 
especially if it's not as well applied in the first place, um, then you would have, say, in a metal siding, which has the ability. Metal's awesome. It shrinks and expands with the climate. It works with rather than against. It doesn't crack when it shrinks and expands. And having a product line that is designed to have uh, to accommodate those movements in the joints means that it, it's working with the environment and the elements rather than fighting it. So what's next and what's in store for Rochelle Lynn Designs and how does somebody get a hold of you if they want help designing their, their project? Truly, uh, the next step up for us, we're actually starting to plan communities, communities that are uh, focused on regional and land connected stewardship in housing. So creating uh, neighborhoods of living spaciously on the land, not compact many, many houses altogether, but living spaciously on the land, yet not uh, engrossed in huge amounts of land, living in communities still and sharing, sharing community spaces. Those being, say, you know, a horse community where you share a communal um, arena, pasture land, barn and paddock space. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us here today, Rochelle. Oh, thank you for having me. It's been a treat. Loads of fun. Are you a designer or architect and want to incorporate these panels into your next project? Western States Metal Roofing has made it easy. Simply download our free 3D Smart Textures to create photorealistic images in your 3D design software now. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.